As an exclusive look at U.S. SWAT teams training in elite counterterrorism tactics, learning how to deal with intense situations like active shootings and hostage rescues. The instructor for the elite training is no other than Aaron Cohen, friend of the show, former Israeli special ops veteran. Aaron, good evening and take us through this. Good evening, Trace. Good to see you. I recently trained up a team of SWAT instructors from across the state of Alabama in extreme high threat response using Israel's cutting edge behavioral based close quarters battle methodology. Let me take you through how it works. What you're seeing up here on the screen is what we call continuous rapid point shooting. Israeli studies showed us that under stress, you're not going to use your sights in close combat. Your brain simply won't allow you to put anything between your eye and the threat. So we train to harness that by point shooting while firing rapidly, since what you're going to do on the day uh, is what's going to happen when that threat is going to try and kill you. Uh, the next piece we're going to move on to is what we call limited penetration room clearing, which we developed in Israel. You're simply not going to make entry when being fired at through a doorway. So we train to clear 98% of that room from outside the frame. It allows us in Israel to perform hostage rescue at a 90% success rate, like we saw with Noah Argami in Gaza, because we can hit multiple points of entry simultaneously by getting multiple guns on a threat overwhelming that terrorist. He can only respond in one direction at a time. It's faster, it's more lethal, it's safer for the officers, the hostages, and the civilians. The Israeli model is about building tactics around how your body will naturally react under extreme stress, specifically while getting fired at, and harnessing those reactions to build a tactical toolkit that works in combat, aka behavioral-based tactics, or what we call in Hebrew, mevusas itnagut. Trace, back to you. Fantastic stuff, Aaron. We're going to keep rolling this video. We want you to stand by, if you will. Let's bring in Assistant SWAT Commander with the Morgan County Alabama Sheriff's Office, Captain Eric Fields, and Assistant SWAT Team Leader with Lee County Alabama Sheriff's Office, Corporal Ben Coslin. Thank you both for coming on. I'm wondering, Captain Fields, to you, you've been through many SWAT training exercises. You've been doing this for years. What is it that makes the Israeli technique, that Aaron's stuff that he's teaching, what makes it different and unique? Uh, the Israeli style is behavior based. Um, Aaron, he showed the class when we began training tons of actual law enforcement call outs where officers were being fired at and all their response was the same. Um, so the approach that Israel has taken to train their mm -hmm. special operations officers and commandos, uh, and that's the basic behavior science that they put together and uh, you know Aaron being a seasoned operator has managed to really harness that and yeah. the natural reactions and, and build a tactic and a format for SWAT teams uh, that across America that, that can be used in case of a, uh, a high threat call out right um, yeah. so it's it's easy to, to learn and retain the way he does it it's fantastic because Corporal Coslin, I know that you work, uh, you know, you work response at Auburn football games, 75,000 people. That is a massive target. The stuff you learn, what's the takeaway for you, sir? That's correct. And obviously in our nation right now, active shooter situations are far too prevalent. And uh, when we work certain details like that, we have to take a lot into consideration. And these tactics that Aaron teaches are very easy to grasp. And that makes sense, especially when it comes to uh, keeping your operators out of an area where they're they don't need to be in yet, where they can yeah. fight from the threshold. Yeah. And what's the big takeaway, Aaron, for the really, when you go in, you come out, what's the thing that you want them to take away from this? Uh, the big thing here is to get off those sites. Uh, uh, you know, these guys are typically trained on that on that range from day one in the academy using the sites. You're just not going to put anything yeah. in between something trying to kill you in your eyes. So it's that point shooting, that's this rapid compulsive firing these guys are going to go into. They all know how to shoot. Uh, these are like top. SWAT instructors, these guys right. are fantastic. So I could smash them with advanced tactics and say, guys, look, all I need to do is just kind of like twist this and shift it a little bit and then teach them how to shoot and clear the room yeah. from behind the threshold. You're not going to run in when the rounds start coming out. And they picked it up beautifully, and they're going to take it back to their agency. And very quickly, Captain Fields, how much of what Aaron teaches you and how much of these techniques do you bring back and utilize? Uh, really, most of it. Uh, again, uh, these tactics are for extreme 
uh, high threat call outs, uh, mm -hmm. like active shooter, hostage rescue. And we don't have the, uh, the terrorism that to deal with daily, like, like Israel's dealing with currently yeah. it's you know, day to day. So these skills, you know, is good to have in your toolkit yeah. in case it, it's ever needed. And, uh, Would you? and it's just amazing to, to learn. So it's a yeah. great tool to have. Corporal, would you agree with that? Yes, I do agree with that. Now, obviously, our rules of engagement are different in the states, but there's a lot from this class that you can take and use. Yeah, and that's key. Ten seconds, Aaron. Wrap us up here. Uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's about filling up the toolkits, giving them a different way to look at things. These guys were fantastic. They stepped up. They're fantastic instructors. They're going to get it to patrol. They'll get it to their school resource officers. This is just right. break glass in yep. the worst-case scenario. And look what we're seeing right now on the border. We have no idea what could be coming here, so it's better to be safe than sorry. Captain Fields, Captain Corporal Coslin, and Aaron, 